finally got a fish. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, guys? Um, we're gonna make a little trip to uh, a local pond here today. It is freaking freezing down here in Florida, and most of you probably would laugh at me when I say it's it's 48 degrees. I am bundled up uh, because it is cold. I would have laughed myself about a year ago. Um, I used to live up in Kentucky, and you know, last winter I think I was up there. It got down to like zero degrees, and now it's 48 degrees, and I am absolutely freezing. So we're gonna go see if we can go catch uh, some panfish, maybe a couple of bass here and there. But uh, we'll see what what's out and biting today. So uh, I'll get you guys out there. Alrighty, guys, we're here today. Um, <laughs> This park is usually pretty freaking packed, but absolutely nobody out here today. And honestly, I don't blame them. It's pretty cold. Um, so we're going to be fishing for bass and some panfish here. I'm going to start out fishing for bass. So I'm going to use this little cool baits head uh, with a 3.25 inch um, little swim bait. And we're just going to kind of chuck this around, kind of stay mobile and see if we can we can track anything down. Just get it rigged up. So that's what it looks like. It's a gorgeous little imitation. Um, don't always catch the biggest fish with it, but you know, they uh, definitely do like it. So park has uh, not been the, the kindest park to me. Um, you know, <laughs> it's just been a tough nut to crack. I've seen a couple of decent fish in here and I mean, this is Florida. So there's definitely a chance of an absolute giant being in here, but I sure haven't been able to catch one of these giants, so. Probably the coldest weather we've received this winter so far, so. You know, it's been mid to upper 70s. And you know, like I said, it was it's like high 40s, low 50s today, so. Let's see if anybody's out here. This is what really terrifies me about fishing in Florida. Freaking gators. Never had to think about anything like that because there are no gators in Kentucky and Tennessee. So that scares the living heebie-jeebies out of me. All right, so here's the spillway right here. This place is usually freaking packed with a zillion people there, but I guess nobody wants to fish in the cold, which is, the one nice thing about coming outside, not that I've caught anything yet, but we'll see. So um, I'm gonna throw this little swim bait around, see if I can get anything. If I still can't get anything, like I said, I have some night crawlers. I'm gonna put these two two rods out with little night crawlers and, uh, and yeah, see if anybody's home. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a well, I'm a catfish right there. Well, there's a bunch of them. So we'll see. I've seen a couple of big, or I would say decent sized bass in here. Just never really been able to catch anything decent um, I did see one that was like two three pounds in here last time I fished but could not get him to buy it actually I walked up on him while I was fishing fishing with night crawlers and he just wasn't feeling it so you know if this is not the fishy the fishiest spot on this this little park, I don't know what it is. Alright, well, I'm getting artificial to fair shot, I feel like. So we are going to switch over to fishing night crawlers, which is exactly why I brought them with me because I figured this was a decent chance that it was going to happen. So, a couple times. And we are going to get her out there. She's ready to go. That was going to bump on. 
back back over here. So, somewhere right here, just have a uh, a bobber on this one, a little split shot on there, just to let the worm fall a little bit quicker. Let's make a move. Catfish finally got something in the bite, so let's get her back here. But I'm very glad we didn't have the skunk today. So, oh, there she goes. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's been a pretty rough day. You know, started out fishing for bass, throwing that little swim bait around. You know, then moved on to fishing with some night crawlers, as I thought that would be the best, the best way to to get somebody to bite. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Um, you know, we at least got the one one channel catfish, but other than that, you know, little nibbles here and there. But unfortunately, nothing uh, nothing solid. So, if you guys have any uh, any knowledge that you could share with me, you know, I'm I'm kind of new to this fishing bait in in lakes and whatnot. So, um, if you guys have any knowledge to share with me, please drop a comment below. Uh, I definitely like to hear from you guys to to learn some more and hopefully help me catch a couple of bigger fish. So. It was, uh, it was at least nice to get out, so it's better than sitting at home playing Xbox and, and not doing much. So, If you guys liked the video, please hit that like button, and uh, if you want to come along with the journey with me, uh, please hit that subscri subscribe button. I hope you guys have a blessed week. Cheers.